And so it's in a certain sense a pity that um, AI started with, in my opinion, the wrong approach. So the deductive logical reasoning way. Um, although Solomon of Induction was around, I mean, he invented it in 1958, published it in 1960 in a tech report, 64 in, in, in a journal. So um, the theory was there. Um, so if that would have taken on, I think AI would be further developed than it is now. But maybe I'm wrong. So um, these inductive reasoning methods, yeah, they need, it's hard to compare sort of on average, whatever that means, yeah, and they're more computationally hungry than uh, traditional deductive approaches. I mean, think about blocks, we're putting one block on top of each other, you know, there's a very simple way to model that and you can, um, you could do something with the computers at this time. So if you would have started with um, Solomon of induction, maybe then the approximations, uh, MDL came 10 years later um, and other compressors, maybe um, the results wouldn't have been very impressive and then people would have also returned to um, the good old fashioned AI approach. So Lomonov induction was of course not the first attempt to solve the induction problem. There have been many other attempts in the history um, on induction before actually Solomon and also after. And um, but they all have problems or limitations. So I mean there's probably the most well-known Popper's falsification dogma, you know, that a theory needs to be falsifiable. That's all good but um, that principle is way too limited. I mean, you can have two theories which are consistent with your data and one is um, silly and one is reasonable and um, Popper cannot tell them apart because um, they're both consistent with your data. I mean, he later came up then with some um, principles to try to um, select between them, but um, they fail in other ways then too. Um, then, they, there's the whole frequentist paradigm, frequentist statistics, which have their own problem. Then there is Bayesian inference, of course, yeah, which is great and it's to a large extent built in into Solomonov induction. But Bayes doesn't tell us how to choose the, our prior beliefs. It tells us how to update our beliefs if we see new data, but it doesn't tell us how to choose the prior. Um, then what else is out there? Non-monotonical reasoning learning by elimination and various other forms which don't take uncertainty properly into account. Yeah? So they try to do inductive reasoning without probabilities. Roughly before the year 2000, so there was no general theory of intelligence out there. I mean, in the early days of AI, people have tried yeah, and failed, have tried again and failed, and then it seems they have given up. Yeah? And most AI researchers are now concerned with very specific um, problems in the area of AI, of course, yeah, to solve, and then they solve it, um, or try to get there, but they um, avoid thinking about intelligence in general terms. And the first successful theory about general intelligence um, was the universal AI model, which um, I've discovered in about the year 2000, yeah, nice number. Um, and so far, it withstood any attempts to find loopholes in it yeah, for 12 years now. So you never know, you know, maybe there's something missing. Yeah. I mean, it's not computational, we know that, I admit that, yeah. but from a mathematical point of view, um, the AI problem is solved. We have this formal theory and it's only, only of course in big quotes, big question marks, um, now um, a computational problem. You can just give it to the proper computer scientists. Um, so, so there have been an AI winter, so after the big boom in the 60s, 70s, um, there was a big AI winter. But recently, maybe the last five years, maybe 10 years, um, there's more and more excitement about um, 
returning to at least the original goals, not the original methods, but the original goals of um, designing or understanding general intelligence. And um, you know, maybe my theory has contributed a little to it, maybe not. It doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, the important point is that um, there is increasing excitement about these fundamental questions again in, in the last decade or maybe five years.